guys, it's Shelby, otherwise known as Shelbizzle here on YouTube, and today I'm going to answer the question that has been asked probably the most since I announced my zero waste challenge, and that is, what do I do about toilet paper? Okay, so this is definitely the most requested question that I have gotten since I announced this on my Snapchat, on my Twitter, on my Instagram, on you now, on YouTube, everywhere, everyone wants to know. But what about toilet paper though? Some of you have even cut right to the chase and just asked me, are you using a rag to wipe your ass this month? No, I'm not guys. I also want to say really quickly before we get started that clearly a lot of you are interested in this topic because of the fact that it was the most requested thing. So I'm going to leave all the links in the description box if you want to check these things out please do so. To be honest with you, I don't know any zero wasters, even people who are championing this movement, people who started this movement, and people who are like super, super committed. I don't even know any of them who use a reusable cloth to wipe their butt after going number two. If you thought the period video was uncomfortable, how do you feel about this one? No, but as much research as I did before this month started thinking that probably they did use something reusable, it turns out that they don't. And to be honest, it would take a pretty significant assessment to decide if it would be more wasteful to take this water and soap and resources necessary to wash a cloth with your poo on it, if that would be more sustainable than, you know, throwing away toilet tissue that comes from trees that can be regrown and also is very easily biodegradable. So I think the answer to this question, and everyone who's been wondering, is we don't use reusable rags, but I think the most important thing to keep in mind when you're thinking about toilet paper and actually anything that has to do with zero waste, reducing your waste and choosing a more sustainable option, is think about the product that you're buying, what is it made out of? Is it made out of something that is sustainable? So something that's going to biodegrade, that doesn't have a 500 to 1000 year lifespan in the environment, uh, in a natural environment. So that's its regular time it takes to break down in a natural environment, okay, you know what I mean? So obviously no toilet paper is made out of plastic, but like plastic takes a long time, paper doesn't. So paper is still a pretty sustainable option in terms of wiping yourself. So that's the first thing, think about what your product is made out of, and then the second thing is going to be, again, like with most things when you're going zero waste, is what is it wrapped in, what is the packaging. So I just wanted to show you guys what toilet paper I use, and this is not the perfect option. I'm going to be honest, and we're going to get into some more options in a minute, but I'm just going to tell you that I use this very generic, easy to find, 100% recycled material toilet paper um, that I get at my grocery store. Uh, I recently saw that they sell it on Amazon and I think I might start ordering it there and I'll tell you why in a second. But this is the kind I have typically been buying. It's by 7th generation and it's 100% recycled bathroom tissue. Now that's a really great thing. I have thought for a very long time, uh, before I even did the zero waste thing, this is what I've been buying. I thought it was a great option. I know this comes in plastic and you can only recycle this if you take it to a plastic bag recycling like drop off pickup thing or at least where I live I can't recycle plastic bags at my home have to take this to the store to recycle it which I will now be doing for sure but the thing about recycling plastic is it can only be recycled so many times and that is an entire video topic that is coming up stay tuned but it's better to avoid plastic packaging altogether because it's not sustainable even to recycle it it's really not so I went on Amazon and I found that you can order this toilet paper 100% recycled wrapped in paper packaging now my only question with that is if I order 48 rolls at a time I think is what I have to order to get it on Amazon each individual one comes wrapped in paper and I can't help but wonder if that's more sustainable than buying the 24 pack wrapped in plastic and recycling the plastic I'm honestly not sure like I said you'd have to do an assessment and that's not the only option so I'm gonna flash them on the screen for the ones that I saved did some research on and found some options for you guys it's a really great idea to try to order your toilet tissue from Amazon you can save money you can buy in bulk like this is here and you can get things that are wrapped in just paper the only issue with that is if you've seen my house tour, I'll link it on whichever side those cards come up on, but um, I don't have a closet. I have something like a closet, but it's very small. Madison and I share it. Tippy's litter box also sits at the bottom of it. I have, you know, random other things. Our shoes are all in there. We don't have a lot of space, so storing 48 rolls of toilet paper is not really even an option for me. However, if it is an option for you, I'm going to leave the links below, like I said. You can buy 48 rolls at a time, which is going to reduce the amount of packaging overall so that they're all packaged together, you know, not like individual pieces each wrapped up. And you're also able to get it 
in not plastic packaging, which is probably the most sustainable option. So you have this one right here by Natural Value, which comes from 100% recycled material and is wrapped in paper. So that's all going to be recyclable and biodegradable. Slightly different situation here with Tree Free. What they do is they make their bathroom tissue out of 100% virgin sugar cane and bamboo pulp, which is more sustainable than typical pulp trees because they don't take as much water to grow. They're very easy to grow, regrow if that makes sense. So bamboo grows very fast, it chops down and it grows back very quickly. It's a more sustainable form of paper. Another option which I don't think is going to be one of the most sustainable, I remember back in the day I thought it was, is this tube free toilet paper. Now the toilet paper is still going to be made from typical pulp and it's still going to come wrapped in plastic. So I think overall that's not really helpful because you can recycle those tubes. So I think the trade-off there is not worth it. Here's the seventh generation one that I have been ordering and will probably continue to order this way. And that's pretty much it for the solution of zero waste toilet paper. Again, like I said, the best thing you can really do is do a risk assessment, which basically means what's going to cause the most harm. It's going to be making sure I'm buying toilet paper that is 100% recycled, even though it might come in plastic packaging and I can recycle that packaging. Or are you going to be able to store 48 rolls at a time and be able to get them individually wrapped in paper that can be composted or recycled. It's really up to you, but these are the most sustainable options I was able to find for toilet paper. And the last option I have for cleaning yourself off with zero waste is going to be a bidet. Now, of course, with this, we have excess water usage instead of toilet paper. And once again, it's going to take a very specific risk assessment to see which of these options is going to bring more waste. Because even though the bidet doesn't cause a solid waste problem, it still causes a water waste problem. Problem, right so it's not a complete foolproof solution and if any of you guys have a bidet please let me know in the comments down below or if you've ever used one because I have not and again I'm a little bit weird about things like that freaks me out but that's gonna be it for me today you guys if you have any other sustainable options you want me to know about make sure you leave them in the comment section I'll be sure to check them out if you want to purchase a more sustainable toilet paper option, I will leave the links for you in the description box below. It's all about making these small changes in our daily lives to put our dollar towards voting for the better, more sustainable options. That's the point in all of this, right? So that's going to be it for me today, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope it was helpful. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up, click around, see my other Zero Waste videos, and remember, until next time, create the peace.